Hello and welcome to Fashion Amateurs. It's me, Augustus, and we're going to do a little product review. Product? Prod? Project review. Uh, I've been working. Uh, this is what I've been working on lately. While I was meant to be working. Uh, anyway, so two by two hidden piston floor door. So no showing worketry. Go down, and you can just hide all your stuff, and no one can see it because there's no showing workings. Showing work. And that also happens, but that's not meant to happen. Shh. Ignore that. Anyways, I'll just go out and give you a, a that was just a demonstration of it in use. I'll give you a proper demonstration where you can see the work circuitry. Here we are. So you can see everything in work action. Just put it on there. It opens. Put it on there. It closes. So there's no circuitry above here. The only thing you need is just one block. That's all you need. Anyway, uh, if you're interested. Uh, I'll just head on to the tutorial world now to show you how I built it step by step. So let's go. See you in a moment. So here we are in the tutorial. To start with, you have to make the base of the um, of the hole that you make. So so you make the floor first, then you build two up from that, and then a little sort of hollow square. And that is the top floor, so that's where you stand on, and where all underneath which everything is hidden. Then you need to um, put down your um, basis on which all the redstone is going to be put. So make this sort of half crook shape there, and then the L shape here. And so that is how you're going to power everything. And then you put the pistons in. You can put it in now or afterwards. So I'm going to put them in now. So your four pistons are there. Then two facing up. There. Then after that, you need to put in the redstone. So you put in six repeaters in these places. And then connect all these repeaters up. And put some redstone there, 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 which will power all the, the top pistons. Then you need to put four click delay on these repeaters. So, and you need to mirror on the other side. So uh, I'll uh, I'll explain how this works. Then cut to that made on the other side and show you how the opening mechanism. So how this works is you got the the four. So this this one's power. These four power first. From these ones, and then these, and then these two ones are extended out. Will have power. Then when you turn it off, those will be the first ones off, because these will still be powered. Then those will retract at the same time. Right. So I'll quickly cut to it made on the other side, and then I'll show you the opening mechanism. Now that we've had it mirrored on the other side, we do the opening mechanism. To do this, you build these two blocks here. Then underneath this block, you put a piston facing down and a piston facing up on that on that piston right here. Then underneath the first piston, put a block. Underneath two underneath that block, you need to put a redstone torch. So when that is pushed down, that is then powered. Then Redstone there, block, torch, block, which power, which means this is constantly powered when this is off. So this will mean that when you put a block on there, that will get knocked off. That's the basis of all sh sh um, hidden flush things. So when that's powered, that pushes down, which turns this on, which turns this, which powers this, turns this off, pulls that down, knocks the torch off. So it's just is effectively a useless machine, but you can use it for. So it's an it's a useless machine turned for a use, because then it gets a very short burst of power, which you can use to activate uh, vertical flip flops, which you're going to build here. And you put some sand on top of there, a block on the side, a lever there to power it, and then some redstone. And then the same on the other side. So piston, block, block, <laughs> sand, block. I'm on the wrong side for this. Uh, redstone, power. 
then from there you just need to link it up to the other redstone you've already made and this must be a repeater or else it will not receive power from the sand block and put that down there repeater redstone redstone and there you are it's done finished what you should do then you need to put your floor material in those areas there then just activate it and the flush hit the door anyways uh, now I'll quickly show you in the demonstration I made uh, the uh, use thing I used to open it I used a pulse generator so I'll quickly find a button instead of using a lever because that seems to work better but you can use any input technically and then you have two percent two repeaters there on the non-powered one you do four clicks and a block there redstone block torch torch not a button so this means when you press the button you get a pulse of uh, a pulse of current from that red repeater there so that can be used in lots of mechanisms that pulse will allow this flip flop to work so it's very useful. Anyways, uh, that has been my little tutorial uh, showcase thing. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you, and good night! <laughs>